Welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. Where we left off last time, we were going to the ruins of Arthok Palace, which that looks to be right here. About. Gotta be. Hi guys. Ow! Oh, mother. Oh, the dog. I hit the wrong button. Now I can't see anything. Damn it. That's a lot of things. Uh, we're out of swallow. Time to run away. I was just playing, guys. Just teasing. It was just a prank. It was just a prank. Oh god, don't hurt me. I feel bad about killing the dogs. I don't feel bad about eating their bodies though. Raw meat. Dog tallow. Raw meat and raw meat. We need to repair our swords and also meditate for an hour so that we have some potion back. And also maybe for that cat potion to wear off. I drank every potion in an attempt to stay alive and it worked. So uh Yes, that one. Alright, back up to hundred percent. We're going back in. This time for realsies. All the dogs are dead, I think. There's a lot of guys in here, though. A billion blighted battles. Giving me no choice. That was an easy kill, one hit. Oh shit. So we play this spinny game. Oh. Ow. Why? Why does it hurt so badly? Time to run. Yeah. And there's archers. Of course there are. Why wouldn't there be a million archers to go along with the hundred thousand enemies? Where'd they all go? They're all heading back. Fair enough. Let's try save. Oh, no. Hit save? No? How about now? How about now? No. Fair enough. Alright, let's do this thing. I have three swallows left, so... Let's use one. And... Uh, that worked pretty good. Kill the guy, or whoa, easy on the archery. I think I wasn't supposed to let that fire go up, and that's why there's so many bandits. Did I get a piece of you, Grey Groin? No, actually, you didn't. I think that guy did. Dog down. There are a lot of bodies in that pile of enemies. Alright. Here we go again. Where are these shots coming from? Oh, there's an archer down there. I see. That's a muthrucker. You're right, it won't. It won't drag on long at all. As a matter of fact. What the shit? Oh. I see.
Another bandit there. These guys are like one-shotters. I don't mind them at all. It's the uh... It's the hammer guys. With their hefty damage. Uh, maybe. Stupid dog, get out of my way. How are you not dead? There we go. Gotcha. I don't think that's true. What? How many more are there? Let's end this. Okay. So let's start looting some bodies because we have like a million bodies to loot here. We've killed our way through. I actually don't know how many people. I kind of lost count there. All I know is we're gonna have to use all of these mazes to repair all of our stuff. Is that a dog up there? Yeah. We have so much dog tallow. Also, we can save, which is nice at this point because we just killed our way through a million guys. Not a million. That might have been hyperbole, just a little bit. Hi. What? Lost your nerve? Why are you yelling dingling? That's not really an effective alarm. Also, the alarm's already been sounded, so really doesn't really serve much of a purpose to dingling away. Bitch. I didn't say you could hit me. Almost done, I think. We've also found our body weight worth of maces. And chicken sandwiches. Hmm. If I hadn't have already had dinner, I would probably want a chicken sandwich. Okay. Hello? Oh, hello, Bandit. You're gonna run out of room pretty quick. Oh, hey, I found some more pieces of that, uh... Oh, there's uh, another note. It all went off without a hitch. Bartholomew de Lune, Lune proved a poncy fool, just like I thought. The Witcher fell right into our trap, too. Put too much stock in his skills, thought he could handle anything. At first, we acted like bored thugs, just picking our noses, waiting for our prey. Or waiting for our pay, sorry. When de Lune and the Witcher finally came to terms, the Witcher let slip that he was hiding the rest of the diagrams in the pits of broom. Dangerous place, that, but maybe we'll find some safe route to the Witcher's cache. One bolt from the black took care of Delaunay. Expected more trouble from the Witcher, so we hit him with a couple. Good thing, too, because he still had a heap of life left in him, though he couldn't even get up off his belly. I let the lads check just how much pain a Witcher can stomach. They earned a bit of re a recreation after the fine job they had done. When we grabbed the coin of Delaunay, and soon we were off to the pits of Brun Broom to get those precious diagrams and sell it for all we can. It's got the treasure out of the cave. <laughs> Apparently there's some sort of organizational chart. It shows there being enemies and a camp above us. But I don't know where exactly, because it doesn't look like we can go any higher. Unless... Ah, there's a ladder. Okay. And let's go up to the top and see what happens. 
We've gotten three out of six of the sets now, though, so that's pretty good. Hello. What the hell are you doing? Come on. Whoop. That's most of your life. I'm guessing I probably can't take too many hits from this guy, though. Show me what you got. Ooh, Kidoki, let's not get hit by him. I'm sorry for not being clear fluid enough. Loot, you say? Pure silver. Uh, Toussaint's Night Steel Sword and Toussaint Ducal Guard Captain Gauntlets and another book. Which says. Taking the silver salamander in did a lot to relieve the tense atmosphere. Things had already relaxed a bit in the swamps because a good number of our men went on assignment, but our haunts so bum hugging huge, the ruins of pa Palace Arthok still look like a bleeding bazaar. A man can't even empty his bowels in privacy. To top it all off, my bones ache to high heavens from this humidity, and even wenches can't warm me up properly. I need to look around for something and fast before the good mood from the last raid fades completely in Bogate Ornery. This time we need to hit something big. Thinking more and more about that vineyard to the south, Coronada. It would do perfectly. We're sending some scouts. Maybe start planning a big job. Ah, uh, I need to straighten out something with the lads. Ever, or ever other one of them's hit upon the idea of scribbling down memoirs. That's weird phrasing, but okay. Regular bloody bunch of literati. Should take to practicing swordplay or hunting instead of becoming diarists. I keep a log. That's enough for the whole lot of us. I'll whip one or two of the Har's, Harless Broods, wipe my derriere with their diaries, and maybe the rest will get down to some honest banditry. Maybe. There's at least one more enemy down there somewhere. And I'm taking your armor die, because it's turquoise, and that's pretty cool. And I'm also taking that. Some sort of gauntlet thing. Okay, so there's one more enemy apparently. Uh, maybe not, I guess. I guess we cleared it out. Because there's sweet, sweet trumpets of victory happening. Good of you to join. That's a lot of our soldiers now. Or, I guess, Toussaint soldiers. You know... How many soldiers I could have used when there was 800,000 bandits fighting me? All of those soldiers would have been awesome. Would have been so, so nice. But no, they were busy doing something. Something that wasn't killing bandits. Jerks. You destroyed a Hans's base and killed its leader. This has put an end to its power over the area. Something that I missed. Well, well. Harling Strakenoff, House Palm Titled Harlitzbrut, has bit the dust. May he rest in pain and agony. You've earned yourself a steep price cut here, Witcher. Okay. Well, let me see what Show you have. what you have on offer, will you? I need to repair my stuff. Nope. Yes. That's the one. That is not a steep repair. That's still $200 to repair a sword. Highway robbery. And what do you got in here? Possibly stuff we need. We'll figure that out later. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of all the common items we got. It'll help our money situation. Whoops. I sold some runes. Oh well. I'm sure they weren't super important. I hope. We'll find out later, I guess. There. We have 23, almost $24,000. Now. Worst case scenario, we buy back whatever runes. Probably just armor-piercing ones, maybe, or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. 
not a big deal. What we do need to do is see... Can this guy actually craft the, mas the Grandmaster items we're looking for? Probably not. I could craft up this and get our feline swords up to par. Because we don't have the Mastercraft versions, so we'd have to go back and find those. Or would we? Am I using only a superior sword? Maybe superior is the highest before Grandmaster. So it goes ahead, enhanced superior. Guessing we don't have the Grandmaster version yet, so we can't really take a look at that, unfortunately. And this guy doesn't do armor. Guy named Stragon ran across him late, er, already. Stragon, name's familiar. Ran into him a while back. What's this? He, he must have been a horrible hound shacker. Decent folk don't bear that name. Can't say if that's true for all the dragons, but this one sure wasn't decent. Met a bad end, too. Justly so. You carved up the knob copper. I knew it! So Druids homophobic. It me, actually. Burned him alive. Oh, lovely. Lovely. That's so homophobic. Anyways, farewell. See you later. Is there an armor in the sound, too? No. Let's head out. We have one more. We have to go to the uh, Pits of Broom, apparently, to find some more stuff. And then we have to go get the Urson sword parts, so we'll have to do the Urson quest as well. You just doing push ups on the ground? Okay, fair enough. Can't deny him that small pleasure. Good, we got a wonderful little marker too. Uh, let's just leave me alone, wolves. You don't want none of this, I promise you. It's okay, don't worry. I saved your lives by not fighting you. Not that you'll ever notice, but that is the truth. Oh, not these things again. Shit, I wasn't ready for this. Whoop. Ow. Mother. Just the one, right? Okay, good. We're also out of swallow again, so we're gonna go ahead and meditate for one whole hour. Uh, then we're gonna go down and into this place. At some point in time, I'm going to head back to town. Apparently there's an alchemist. There's a monster den below us. That looks like a long fall. Let's go around. Sense perceptible again. I am going to use a cat potion so I can see. Look around. Apparently there's a lair somewhere around here. Or this counts as the lair, one of the two. Alright, let's go this way. What are we fighting? Oh, oh, more of these. Two of them this time, though. Shit. Oh, keep dodging. One dead. Two dead. Okay, time to use a potion. That hurt a lot. Let's grab all their spores and essence and junk. And there's something here. Ah, oh, there's the rest of the feline stuff. Burned all my er, burned all my bridge. No returns possible. Not after I committed murder and took those Grandmaster diagrams. Probably already on my tail. Hope to finish the deal and 
quick and start a new life in the south. My time as a witcher is over. Can't trust Delaney, especially since he insisted we meet in a bandit's den. Hid the diagrams in a cave, which no ordinary man will be able to enter. If everything goes smooth, I'll collect my coin, tell him the cash is in the pits of broom, then offer to escort him there for an additional fee. If it doesn't go smooth and someone finds these notes, know this. It was worth. Worth killing my own, worth stealing, worth anything to escape from a miserable life on the path. Every witcher's felt it. The urge to drop it all and ride off into the sunset. This one decided to act on the urge. Costs be damned. Diagrams have a sad history. But I'll make good use of them. Yeah, let's go take a look at what they have. Uh, how do we get out of here? This way? I'm lost. I've gotten all turned around. This way. There we go. Made it out. Can't see anything. Actually, it's not daytime out, so we should be fine. Um, where's our where's that signpost? I know there was one nearby. There's a trade post. We're just gonna go there, and we'll head back to Regis. Maybe we can start making these things. Odors Maybe not. Dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Oh, we're supposed to be doing a basilisk quest here as well, but that's not our problem right now. We're going to get armor and stuff and junk. Right, that's this basilisk quest here. Somebody left their horse here. That's just weird. All right, Regis, you're back at the city. That was actually a super quick part. Why are you at the cemetery? Okay. Well, maybe he needed to go to the cemetery to do something. I have no idea. Maybe he lives in the cemetery? Wait, what's the cage of... yeah. Oh, this is the main storyline quest. What the hell am I doing? He wants us to go back there because we did our part of that quest. Wrong. We're going to Matina Gate. Yes. That's what we're doing. Because we are going to see if we can build some armor. And if we can't, we're going to see what we need to gather for it. Maybe. The. There we go. Keep calm. I am calm. Darts, no brawls. No, br no brawls. What kind of city do you live in where there's no brawls? That's just not cool. And all the people are populating the street slowly but surely. I wonder if this dude's even going to be open. It's like twelve o'clock at night. Apparently, he's still here. Greetings. I. It went well. I found something already. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grand Master. Maybe? I thank you, Witcher. You're welcome. I'd like you to craft something for me. You craft something for me? Of course. Alright, let's take a look. So, Mastercraft feline boots, we already have those. We need Grand Master feline boots. So, we are missing components. We're missing infused slither hard hide and some enriched dematerium plate. How much better are they than mine? Barely? Oh well, I guess it, small steps. Small steps. Grand Master feline armor is pretty good, but again, we need some infused slizzard hide. How do you build infused slizzard stuff? Uh, I infuse lizard hide. I can build three. Do I have enough to build more cured draconid leather though? Because then I can build up to eight. Yes. Look at that. I have all the things. So let's build. One, two. What? Keep going. Three. This is going to be an expensive thing, I think, but that's okay. Now we need the infused slizzard hide. Yeah. 
Okay. Now, how many of these things can we build? Now what are we missing? Oh, right. Dark steel ingots for... That's superior. Where's Grandmaster? We're missing enriched dimaterium plate. So for that we need two dim enriched dimaterium ingots. For that we need enriched dimaterium ore. For that we need meteorite silver ingots and dark steel ingots. This reminds me of World of Warcraft. Okay, well, we have lots of that. I hit a button and now it's... Now we're somewhere else. Oh, I see. Oops. Where were we at? Dark steel ingots. This one. Okay, now we need some Dematerium ingots. This kind, I think. Dematerium ore. No, where's the ore? Okay, we need Meteoric Silver ingots now, too. Time to use up all the things we've gotten so far. So, Silver and Meteorite ingot. So we can get several more of those. Ugh. If you do it before it's done, then it doesn't let you. Did it again. And silver ingots. Let's do as many of those as we can. Hopefully we can buy some of the stuff if we don't have enough. This is getting ridiculous. Whoops. Oh, what have I done? I may or may not have been holding down W by accident. Okay, that's a lot of silver ingots, so let's make meteoric silver ingots. We can make 17 of them. Those things are ludicrously expensive to make. Oh, I guess not that bad. Okay. It just seemed like this guy's money was going up really quickly. Maybe not, though. I'm just crazy. Just crafting away. Alright. Now, dimaterium ingots. Er, we need to make ore to make ingots, right? Yes. Oh, we need to have material ore to make... Okay, gotcha. We need orcalicum ore. How the hell do you make that now? Can I make that? L-M-N-O orcalicum ore. What do I need for that? Green gold. What about this part? Okay, I can do that one. This is ridiculous. Alright, good enough. Where were we at? What did we... <laughs> what did we need again? <laughs> I've kind of lost track now. I've just been crafting all sorts of mats. We need... Dimaterium plate. So we need one of those. For that we need two ingots. For those ingots we need two enriched dimaterium ores. Okay. We can still make more ore. We can actually still make more dark steel too if we need to, which we will. Interesting, we can use glowing ore ingots too. How does one make one of those? All right then.
Okay, Dimaterium Ingot. I think there should be another one of these things that allows you to make enriched dimaterium ingots out of normal ingots. So let's look around for that as well. He actually might have the pattern. Mm, let me see. What do you have on? Maybe I can just buy enriched dimaterium ingots off of him. He's supposed to be a master smith, right? Is this in alphabetical order? His orcalicum. I'll buy that because we need it. Um. Is Dimaterium ingots? Is he even enriched ones? Yes, he has three. Holy crap, they're expensive. Fine, whatever, I'll take them anyways. Not like we have a lot to spend our waning money on anyways. Okay, back to crafting. Oh, right, we're looking for a pattern. We can actually make our own repair kits eventually. That's fancy. What's that? Alright. Now, where were we at? We had some ingots we haven't enhanced yet. Which I think I might have screwed up, but that's okay. We can make the Grandmaster boots at the very least. So, there's one. Done. Apparently he has, maybe that's how much the store has, so two. Regardless, let's go take a look at the Grandmaster Feline Armor. So we need two more Enhanced Dimaterium. I can make two more. which consequently is how much we need for the breastplate. So, let's make one of those. All right, let's take a look at what it looks like. We spent literally all of our, oh, I have a hood. Farewell. Good luck on the path. All right, so we have our armor. It looks, it looks pretty good. Definitely not going to complain about it. It looks nice. And we also have our boots, I think. Which also look pretty cool. Pretty swanky. I have a cool hood now. Unfortunately, we still need to do two more. To get the gloves and the mastercrafted feline trousers. I wonder how much they are each. Let's just quickly check. And then we'll call it a video because that is pretty much going to be it. Great. Uh, let me see what you got. What do you have? Let's see what we can sell because we are broke as hell now. Why can't I sell that? Why can't I sell that either? No, you have to let me sell the bolts. They're worth money. I don't have any money left. Wait a minute, isn't there like a junk? Section of stuff? Those are all mutagens and stuff. Food and drink and then a roach. Potions, oils, bombs. Quest items, other. There we go. Let's sell some of our others. Because we probably have tons of money worth of stuff. Since we spent like a small fortune and by a small fortune, I mean a vast fortune. On crafting stuff, we might as well get some money back. Oh, right, Dimaterium Shackles. Those are worth a fortune. Or are they worth dismantling? We'll take a look. It might be cheaper to dismantle things. Anyways, we're going to end the video. I'm going to... 
I am carrying so much junk. I'm gonna go through and see what I have to sell. And then in the next video, we will continue onwards with pure silver. I'm going to check if these things are worth dismantling, if they're worth selling, because they're worth 800 bucks, which is pretty nice. Anyways, like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.